For this lesson, we're going to cover using vegetation objects and how we can enable detail bending and possibly how we can control it through the materials. So there are a couple places you need to look, but overall detail bending is not very hard. So let's just start doing it and then we will talk about how detail bending works when we get to that point. To begin, we need to go to Tools, Vegetation Editor, and I'm going to dock this on my right side over here and pull it out just a little bit. So I'm not going to create a group, and I'm just going to grab one object. I can go to Natural, Trees, and we will go to, let's do a palm tree. We can select Large A Con. So if I open up my default grouping, I can grab my palm tree, and I can see it down here. And if I were to paint it in my scene, I would get a palm tree that is basically completely still. And this is not actually what we want to happen. So if we add bending to 1, you'll notice that we get this movement that we've been looking for. And this is what detail bending is in the engine. We can also escape out of this. And let's go ahead and grab the material editor. I'm going to dock this over on the left side. We can stick it on the level explorer. Let's pull this out just a little bit. Let's do the eyedropper so we can kind of get the uh, material in front of us. And if we scroll down, we can see that we have bending branch amplitude and bending edges amplitude. And this is what actually controls the editor functionality for the detail bending. On a whole other end, it's actually vertex coloring, but the material can control it quite a bit, as you can see. So obviously, the ampl amplitude is the up and down and we can change this to whatever respect that we want. So you can create a variety of uh, changes in the bending even through the objects, but for the most part you need to keep in mind that this material is the master control inside of the editor. So mix and match, and just like that you can have uh, branches that sway in the wind with a, a procedural based wind generation inside of the editor for your level. 